Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, yeah, I've been getting quite a few questions about the uh, MX, MSR uh, Hubber NX single man tent. Um, a lot of our videos and photos, obviously, we've got uh, pictures and bits and pieces of using this out on the field, and quite a few guys asking us questions about what we think of it. So, thought I'd do a bit of a setup demonstration, um, yeah, and just run through what I like about the tent anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess I've, this is it here anyway. I've owned this tent for about three years now and um, yeah, done a lot of missions with it. It's been a lot of time in the hills, been quite a few nights away on it um, in varying weather, but nothing too extreme. So I'm still yet to test it in uh, you know, real good Fiordland wind and rain. Um, but I've had it in a you know, sort of mild wind and rain, I suppose, and it's kept me, it's kept me sweet, it's kept me dry and it's kept me pretty warm. So um, very lightweight. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it packs down extremely small and very lightweight, 1.25 kilos. Um, so it's great for those trips when you're heading to the tops, you want to keep your weight down, um, you want to minimalize your gear so you can move uh, further, faster, for longer. Um, and that's why I bought it. So I watch the weather carefully, and I'm not getting up there and uh, getting out there when the weather looks like it's going to turn to crap, and I'm only ever away for two or three nights at a time anyway. So for me, it's perfect. Serves a purpose, serves a great purpose, three season tent, very lightweight, quite roomy, and um, uh, yeah, just a good little bit of kit. So I'll do a bit of a demonstration on the setup and um, get inside there and show you guys around a little bit and talk about what I think. So cheers. Okay, so here it is. MSR Hubber NX, single person tent, as you can see, really small little package nice and light nice and compact so really good for just strapping to the side of your pack um yeah it doesn't really get in the way uh yeah nice and light so it doesn't unbalance your pack too much or anything so that's great so that was one of the things that drew me to it obviously the weight being one of the major ones as well but we'll just unpack it here so you got these drawstrings here that keep it nice and uh hold everything together, keep it nice and compact, so it's pretty handy, so we just loosen those. Opening up the package, as you can see, flipping over the top lid, you got a, a set of instructions here. Uh, I mean, anybody uh, that's set up uh, tents before could throw this up um, blindfolded, it's a piece of cake anyway, but if you need a good set of instructions, they're there. Now everything clips together and Things, so that's handy. Roll it out. Yeah, so you got your inner and your fly here, all wrapped up. Poles and your pegs. So that's the the contents. Uh, that's everything inside the packet there. You've got some more basic instructions on your um, on your pig uh, sleeve here as well. And that's your um, your pole set up. Little poles there. Bunch of pegs. Now a little rescue sleeve. So if one of these poles was to break out on the field, slide your sleeve down over the top. And then uh, if you need to bend things into place and things, it holds it there nice and steady. So that might get you through a couple of nights or so. If, uh, get you by anyway until you can get back into town and replace your, um, your pole set up there. Place one of the sleeves, it can be done pretty easily. And uh, what I keep in mind is a bit of a repair kit as well, so a couple of patches. Uh, yeah, I mean, it does feel like it's sort of quite lightweight material, and you might be able to poke a hole in it fairly easily. If you're dragging it through the, the prickly scrub, or if you set it up on a rock or something or other, so you have a bunch of patches here that you can quickly chuck on it in the field, keep you nice and dry. Especially if you're away for a few days and you've got a bit of rough weather coming, so that's everything inside the package. Heavy hearts have a crazy side. Just don't go thinking it's a waste of time. Just don't.
Yeah, so reasonably roomy on the inside. Got your little air vent there, so it's um, airing things out nicely, but you'd be surprised just how much room is actually in these. Lie down, I mean, if you were six foot, you could still sleep in here quite comfortably. Um, enough room for your, your air bed and your sleeping bag. And quite a bit of vestibule space here for your gear and bits and pieces, your boots, your bag, you know, whatever. So, yeah, bloody good little setup if you just wanted to be fly camping. Super light. Okay, so there it goes, the full setup. Little air vent open. Bit of ventilation there so you don't uh, condensate too much during the night. And there it goes. So just open up the wee doorway here. all that back as you can see um, there's not a huge amount of room but there's more than enough for for what you need especially for what I'm after and what I'm doing so you've got plenty of room to climb in here close up your little door heaps of head height which is perfect for uh, for getting changed in the mornings or the evenings if you're peeling off your wet gear or you're just trying to get yourself comfortable in your sleeping bag. Um, a lot of tents that I've had in the past haven't had a lot of headroom, so it's made it really awkward to sort of move around inside. So I actually quite like that about this tent. Um, yeah, it's fairly narrow, but what I find is I've got plenty of room for my mat, my sleeping bag, keeps room for me to lie down. And I often leave a lot of my gear just along the side of, uh, of my sleeping here. Um, even my gun sometimes if it's going to be a bit wet you got your little storage pocket here so you chuck your phone and your watch in there or something or other um, it's quite handy and a couple of little attachment points up in the corners if you wanted to string up a little bit of a I don't know, drying system or something but other than that it's simple um, lots of head height nice and light and for me uh, Camping up on the tops when I'm only away for two or three days, um, I want to travel light and fast and uh, not in any super extreme weather. I find it perfect, it's ideal. Never had a problem with this tent. Close up your little vestibule area here. And you can see you got a bit of room here for your gear as well so pin your wee doorway back but this is where i'll put my uh my bag so i've got enough room to line my bag down in here um, my wet shoes my socks my gaiters bits and pieces and um often lay my rifle down the side here as well so um, because i'm traveling light i don't normally have a lot of gear i don't have a massive 90 liter pack or anything i've just got my 35 liter boundary uh, pack by Hunter's Element and um, it's plenty of room for for that in my gear there so all in all great little tent um, I've never had any problems really happy with it um, certainly serves a purpose for me so um, yeah pretty stoked that's about all I can say about it really okay guys so that's it that's my review of the Harbour NX uh, single man tent by MSR um, like I said a, a perfect a uh, very lightweight tent for those uh, fly camping missions up on the tops. You're away for two or three days, you want to keep your gear uh, very light and minimal. And um, I found uh, find it um, excellent for those sort of conditions. So I highly rate it for those purposes. I, I wouldn't take it out in Fiordland in, uh, in a, a roaring gale or torrential rain, um, potentially. I've never uh, tested it in those sort of conditions, but I think for what I use it for, I think it's ideal. It is a little bit pricey, but um, it, has, it certainly hasn't let me down. And um, yeah, 
no, I really rate it. So I hope you've enjoyed my uh, review, guys. Um, simple and honest, and uh, good luck out there smoking barrels. Cheers. Yes, sir.